The Bhagavad Gita is a book of mankind's collected experience of and answers to life's most basic questions. Who I am? From where do I come? What is my purpose and destiny? And most practically, how do I find happiness? These podcasts originate in the lectures of Neil Bhatt, a disciple of Swami Chinmayananda. They are presented here in 20 to 30 minute segments, each covering three of the Gita's 701 verses. Welcome to Gita Wisdom for Daily Living. We have been discussing chapter 4, Gnana Karma Sanyas Yoga, Yoga of Renunciation of Action in Knowledge. This chapter is titled in different ways in different Bhagavad Gitas. So one way it is titled Gnana Yoga, just simple Gnana Yoga. And then in Gnaneshwari it says Brahma Yagna Prasansa Yoga. So it is basically focusing on Gnana Yoga, Yoga of Knowledge. So the chapter could have been titled Karma Gnana Sanyasa Yoga versus Gnana Karma Sanyasa Yoga because we have seen Karma Yoga in Chapter 3. Chapter 4 is teaching as Gnana Yoga, Yoga of Knowledge. And then Chapter 5 will talk about Sanyasa Yoga. So basically this is a continuum, how to go from performing actions to renouncing actions. That Bhagavan has been taking us from the level where we are to higher and higher level through each chapter. So chapter 1, we saw at what level we are performing our actions at this time. So in Arjun Vishad Yoga, we have seen that we are performing at the level of attachment. We are functioning at the level of me and mine. Arjun said, my people are on the other side and I have to kill them. It's okay if they were not my people, then I won't have any problem killing them. So Bhagavan is basically pointing out, this is the level where we are right now. All our actions are governed by my own ego. My own identification is who I am and what is mine. And all our actions are geared toward the betterment of I and mine only. Therefore, I'm working for me, my family, my community, my country. But the my is first before we perform any action. So that's the level we are functioning right now. In chapter 2 and 3, Bhagwan took us to the next level of Niskama Karma, the actions without any desires. So Bhagwan raised the bar for us that right now you are working to gain something for you and yours. Take it to act without any expectations. So the Karma Yoga which we have learned in chapter 3 basically took us from acting for our own self or acting for our own people to without any expectations, without any desires. So that's the next level. Niskama Karma. From Sakama Karma, we are given the task to perform Niskama Karma. Chapter 4 took that level to even one notch higher. It said you should perform action without any sense of agency, selflessness, Gnana Yoga, having the knowledge that I am not the doer, performing actions with the clear understanding that I am not the doer, is performing without the sense of agency in the form of Gnana Yagna. Therefore, the emphasis was in Brahma Yagna, where you offer your limited self as a sacrifice in the fire of Brahman, the Supreme Self. So the knowledge Yagna is, when I achieve the knowledge, then myself is nothing other than that Supreme Self. Myself, my Atma is Paramatma. That basically is the journey. From I and mine, from this conditioned self to unconditioned self is the journey and Bhagavan is taking us one step at a time, each chapter at a time. So, so far in this chapter, 
We have seen that Bhagawan not only gave us the path, but also gave us his own identity. So in the beginning, Bhagawan said that Ajaha, I am unborn, an avyayatma, immutable, but with my maya, I will take a form every time when there is a need. In other words, I am actively involved in my own creation. I have not just created this universe and let it go. I am actively involved. Whenever there is a necessity for me to intervene, I will intervene. So we have seen that Bhagavan said, Yada yada hi dharmasya glani bhavati. I do not take any birth and I always remain immutable. But seemingly, I will take a form to set the, the will of dharma right again. And then he said, in this world, I have created four types of people based on their guna and a karma, based on their qualities and their actions. People cannot be of the same type. People will be different. According to their own dharma and their own capabilities, their own actions, they should be placed in the society, in the, in the community, to do appropriate actions. That does not mean that one is higher or lower, but according to their own capabilities, they should be placed in the society so they feel comfortable performing their actions and make progress from where they are to the higher level. And Bhagavan says, even though I have created them, I do not get involved in it. I don't get tainted by those actions because I remain completely detached from all the actions performed by all the beings or even performed by me as an avatara. So Bhagwan has then given us the path to achieve that same level of detachment for us. Just as I work in this world completely detached, even though I take avatara, the actions of the avatara does not affect me. I have created all these people, but their actions also do not bind me. You can also achieve that same level of detachment if you follow this path, and the path given is all the yagnas which are described. Bhagwan describes various paths for us to go from where we are at the level of performing selfish actions for me and mine to perform actions without any expectation, without any desires. Bhagwan said, people in this world do perform actions, but those who want some result, they will worship devas. And they get the results of their actions. In this world, those results are quicker. And while I can see that I'm achieving it, and therefore they get motivated by that. But one who knows his goal, one who is seeking that permanent bliss, one who is seeking liberation from all sorrows, he comes to me. Because this knowledge alone can relieve you from all your sorrows and unhappiness. Gnana Agnihi Sarva Karmani Basmasat Kurute Tata. In the fire of knowledge only can burn all your actions and the sorrows attached with those actions. My sorrows and unhappiness in this world are because of my limitedness, and because I am limited, I have to compete with everyone else. That creates frictions, that creates competition, that creates failures. And that creates sorrows and unhappiness. But once it then knowledge that you are not limited, when then takes place, all the karmas that I have performed before for getting happiness, everything I have done so far is basically to get happiness and avoid unhappiness. But in the process, I actually get more unhappiness and more frictions and more problems. He said, all those will go away when the knowledge takes place. And the knowledge is, myself is not different than the Supreme Self. That knowledge will burn all your sorrows. It is something Bhagavan says that like when you wake up from the dream, all your problems of the dreams are because of association with that dream. Because of the identity which I have created in that dream for myself, then I am then fighting with all the other people in my dream. 
but any amount of actions in my dream will never give me a complete happiness only when i wake up all my problems of my dream will go away in the same way bhagwan said when you wake up from this dream that you are the limited being all your problems will go away so we are seeing the vasya brahmarpanam brahmahavehi brahmagnau brahmanautam that everything that i see is nothing but the manifestation of the same reality in my own self is no different than the reality when that knowledge takes place there is no competition there is no friction and there is no unhappiness and no sorrow so bhagwan is saying in verse 37 ज्ञान अग्नि ही सर्व कर्माणी भस्मसात करते तथा जस्ट एज फायर बर्न्स एवरीथिंग टू एशेस दिस नॉलेज विल बर्न ऑल योर सॉरोस इन इन इनकंप्लीटनेस टू एशेस एंड यू विल बिकम फ्री ऑफ ऑल द बॉन्डेजेस ज्ञानम लब्ध्वा परम शांतिम अचिरेण दिगच्छति वर्स 39 से वंस दैट नॉलेज टेक्स प्लेस that i am no different than the supreme self right now when i am thinking of myself i think as the limited self that notion is creating all the sorrows and unhappiness i'm constantly agitated because i'm trying to plan my next move how to get happiness and avoid unhappiness prabhupada said gnanam lada having that knowledge this knowledge is of self realization so the final goal bhagwan is indicating here gnanam labdhva param shantim achirena digach in no time you will achieve that peace which you have been seeking all your life so to conclude this chapter bhagwan say yoga sanyasta karmanam gnana sanchinna sansayam atmavantam na karmani dibadnanti dhananjaya all my problems are because the actions are binding and i'm going through this chain of cause and effect i act the world reacts that either gives me little joy or sorrows and then i react that becomes another cause the world reacts becomes another effect this chain continues so i'm bound by the chain of cause and effect of my own actions we want it once you get established in yoga yoga has sanyasta karmana all actions are renounced in yoga the yoga which we have learnt is gnana yoga of having the knowledge that i am not the doer once i establish myself in the knowledge and renounce all my actions in the knowledge that i am not the doer then gnana sanchinna sansayam and all my doubts are dispelled by knowledge all my doubts about who i am what is my relationship with this world what is my relationship with my own creator once the knowledge takes place the doubt will go away with doubts i cannot make any progress as long as i continue doubting as bhagwan has said in the words before sansayatma vinashati you cannot focus on doing anything if you constantly doubt your own ability or what is my final destination if you constantly doubt what is the goal of my life and how to achieve it you will never gain it to gain something you have to fix your goal have faith in that goal and faith in your ability to reach that goal bhagwan said if you have this knowledge your doubts will be dispelled and therefore gnana sanchinna sansayam atmavantam is poised in itself if i have found my identity in this limited body mind and intellect then i'm poised in this ego this jiva is the conditioned self so if the space defines itself by the conditioning of the walls floor and space it is room space but the space realizes that the conditioning they nothing to do with me they are just superimposition on me but i am just the universal space this i was always here i am here i'll remain here there is no change will take place in the space itself because the room has come into existence room has its own limitation but not the space that's the that's the knowledge about the self atmavantam is poised 
in that knowledge that I am not this limited being, but I am part of the supreme being and I am no different than the supreme being. Is it such a person? Na karmani nibad nanti dhananjaya. Oh, dhananjaya, no actions will bind that person. This verse actually summarizes what we have learned so far. You have to renounce all your actions in that yoga of knowledge that I am not the doer. I am not even capable of performing my actions without the help of all the people in the world, the way the universe works, that I am just a part of it and I am enabled by my consciousness. As long as I am conscious, I will be functioning. If I am not conscious, there is no action which is going to take place. No actions will bind after that, Bhagavan says. Dhananjaya, Arjuna, who has collected a lot of wealth outside from his conquest, that wealth is not going to give you happiness, but this wealth will give you happiness. Tasmat Agnana Sambhutam Hrutsnam Gnana Asina Atmanaha Chitva Enam Sansayam Yogam Atishta Uttishta Bharata then at the end of this chapter, Bhagavan again gives a clear instruction to Arjuna what he should do. Therefore, Agnana Sambhutam Sansayam. This doubt in your mind. Remember in chapter 1, Arjuna had this doubt. Should I fight this war or not fight this war? This doubt has come in your mind because of your ignorance about yourself. Had you known that these people will never die? They always existed. I always exist. You always exist. And you will not have this doubt. So this sansaya to act or not act is because of the ignorance. And therefore, gnana asina with the sword of knowledge. The knowledge which I gave you up till now. That you are not that mortal being. You are imperishable being. Yourself can never be destroyed. And you can never kill anyone. One who thinks he's a killer, he's getting killed, both are deluded because the self cannot be killed, cannot be destroyed. With this sword of knowledge, chitva enam sansayam, dispel this doubt, atmana, of your own self, whether I am this limited being or I am part of the supreme being. But once say only you can dispel your own doubt. No one can remove other person's doubt, no matter how much upadesh he gets. That person has to himself reflect on what he has learned. And when that knowledge becomes his own, so from sravanam, mananam, nididhyasan, dhyanam, when I hear something, then I reflect on it, then I try to digest that, and I concentrate on that and contemplate on it. At some point, the knowledge becomes my own. Then only I can remove my doubt. Then only I can claim that I know. So Bhagavan said, this doubt of your own, you have to remove yourself with the sword of knowledge. Yogam Atista, Uttista Bharata. And then once you have that knowledge, you destroy your doubt now there is no doubt in your mind what is the reality and what's your duty and what's your goal. Then you can perform action. Yogam Atista. Take refuge in yoga. This Gnana Yoga. To know. So it is act, understand and then give up. Once I gain knowledge I realize that the actions do not belong to me. Yogim Atista. Establish yourself in that yoga. Put this, then get up and do the work. Engage yourself in activity. And that activity is karma yoga. Perform that activity. Whatever is the task at your hand, right now you are supposed to fight this war. Fight this war without any expectations. Just perform your duty and you will achieve the final goal of realizing your own self. We'll stop right here. If you find this podcast helpful, please support it by donating any amount by going to the episode's website at neilbutt.podbean.com or at chinmaya.com.
richmond.org thank you om sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kaschit dukha bhag bhave om shanti 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 hari yo shri gurubhyo namaha hari yo